Hey, here's the next book in my um my uh, little golden books little collection. Again, inspired by Gina over at the Rebookery. All things came from her um, Etsy store, the vintage buttons and stuff. I did the buttons like her. Uh, this I got from Hobby Lobby. This trim, of course, I got from her. It looks so Gina at the Rebookerish, <laughs> if that's a word. But let me try to untie it. Finally untie. There's all the lusciousness from the side and the top. Seven signatures. Um, this is from a piece of fabric that I had. I think it was like Tim Holtz. So I'm going to go inside. I love this one. It's so cute. Oh yeah, I did put two and a, 200 pages. Six and a half by eight and a half. And... I guess I stuck that on there. Y'all, I haven't seen these books in ages. So, some things I have to rediscover. But I did this little golden book. Look how cute that is. My first goldfish card game. And I just stitched that on there so you can write on it. It's super cute. Then I just had that in my stash. All these things. I just I love making these because I find things and I can use them. Look at that. I don't even know where that came from. Some kind of coupon. The book pages are in order. Tap this vintage stuff. I really don't know where I got it from. It's in my stash. So this vintage page. Right there. You can use that generally. Look at that. I like that. Everything I always try to put like on these pages where you can't really write. I try to put a little something. Or you can stick your own on there. Here. I got a lot of this old stuff from swaps and stuff. Or when I buy stuff. This is just a this is not part of the book. This is a vintage page. This is just a vintage music sheet. But when I buy stuff, people give you extras or you do a swap and people send you extras. This is a big old long page stitched on with security and there's one of those bank of loves that i have <laughs> that was my um my light bill where my light bill comes in there's a our family tree vintage so you can write who's in your family again it's kind of like the other one book i did uh magic to oz got the same kind of stuff in it with the handwriting sheets vintage book pages the works I love making these little altered uh, clips with the poof balls. They just add some little cuteness fluff to the sides and stuff. I love them. This is vintage. Don't know where I got it from. Like I said. It's a photo frame. And I just put in a... I don't know what that is. Scrapbook paper or Project Live. I don't know. Like I said, it's just stashed stuff. So... Uh, and my battery light is on always. I'll put that back. I think I need a new battery. That's a neat image. It's actually scrapbook paper. There's a little cutout. And that is from, whatchamacallit, the book page, I guess. I don't know. I don't even remember. I probably need to just quit talking. That has nothing in it. It's an envelope with a stitch piece on there. Because half the stuff, I don't remember. Look at this. I am Saturn because Muggins is Muggins takes off. I guess it's like space. But this ain't really, it's not really space things. I, I got some space things stuff in here, but not a lot. And her, this little handwriting book, they already practiced on there. But you can erase it. I think it's pencil. You see it's space. I got that from one of our Houston science books. And then there's this, I am Mars, and I just made it a big, long journaling tag. That old Macmillan dictionary page, and it's like yellowish, yellowing, look how old that is. They are definitely out of adoption. Big old pocket. I don't have anything in there, because they're already thick enough. Oh, wow, a piece of... Uh, Coffee dye paper. <laughs> I didn't really coffee dye anything. There's a vintage page. 
not from the book. This is actually Stitch Done, and that's from my own stash from school. That's part of the NASA page right there. Kind of since Muggins is a space sort of thing, but it don't have to be. I didn't put a lot of space stuff in there. Some of that stuff just came like that. That's just stitched on. Little bitty tag. Alphabet paper. Remember all the fabric in here is from Gina at the Rebookery. This. I love that. She gave me a little piece of that. Just stitched on. This one doesn't have the tabs on the side like the other one. So... A lot of similarities, but a lot of different things inside of there. This is from my grandmother's stash. I don't even know what that is, but I just copy them in, in color and use them. So it's not the original, but it's vintage. Another one of those. I love the sound those makes. There's a photo. These are felt little photo tags. Vintage piece of paper. Big old envelope. Oh, that one has something in it. A vintage page from a book. So I tried not to fill up everything. Let y'all have room to get it thick. So I'm just flipping through fast. Grandma's paper. Um, altered card. You can write on the little ticket. Game board piece, I think. Y'all don't know where this stuff come from. I have it and I use it. Like that long clip. It's all stitched. So just because you see the washi tape, it's still stitched. That's actually stitched on there. Look at that. I love her fabric. Uh, little Tim Holtz people. All these fabric stitches. So, this one I didn't put nothing in there. There's a little altered playing card. You can write on the back. This one I didn't put anything on there. You can, but you know me, I would write all around the sides. And I think that would look so neat. Those are the things I do with journals. There's your piece of the rest of the pocket. Oh, that is the um the life touch portrait things again. The big envelopes. Another piece of vintage uh, book page. You can cut them up and use them in the book or use them somewhere else. Look at that vintage piece of Look at that. I love that. Oh, I did like a little bitty Franken page type deal off of this. I sewed a, what is this? Like the time card to the kids' handwriting page. Because I guess that was a short page. And this, I like these. While, while I was something, remember you filled those little things in? Based on the, the nouns, the verbs, animals. There's a, the other life touch. You slide your photo in and it'll show through. It's a big piece of scrapbook paper on in a fabric pocket. I have one more of these books to fill it through. I sewed that on the side. These are so cute. Look at that little tic-tac-toe. You could probably actually do tic-tac-toe. These are one of our actual phonics cards. I wouldn't say it's vintage, but it's probably way some 90s, late 90s. So it's old, but not that old. And that's the pocket of the Life Touch. This I got in a swap for sure. I think Vicky Leach may have made that. I'm not sure, but I think so. When we did that single signature swap. It's an old book page. A coin wrapper just stitched on there. Grandma's ephemera. Oh, I did a pocket out of that. Got a little card. 
Um, there's the NASA Mission Control. Houston. I live in Houston. And I got another big old tag in there. In the pocket. Grandma's the femur of the back. That's the spine. That's what the spine has on it. A little short page. Vintage book page. I love those banks of love. There's a piece of her Rick Rack. Uh, Project Life looking card or whatever. Just a journal card. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know where that came from. I have tons of these. Just from teaching third grade. Here's another security envelope flip out. Vintage music. Some little Tim Holtz people. There's a little card inside the back that I just got from a D stash. Another sewn in popcorn bag. This came out so junky, like junk journal. This is actual packaging. I would use this to put, I could write on here and put the photo on the back. Just some my ideas on what you can do with these. Another um, photo photo thing. I don't want to take the card all the way out, but it's cute. Um, what is that? A tuck spot? Oh yeah. And then there's the little vintage. Um. Division card, and then I stitched on the writing part of it. And that's a playing card. Not, I mean, not a playing card, a flash card. Not too vintage, but it's kind of old. We definitely don't use them anymore. We don't even use that reading program. Look at this, so sweet. A little postcard, and that's from that handwriting book. Again, another card, a photo. Oh, the wonder it's not glued down or anything. Photo frame. Here's another one of those. I am Jupiter. Hey, get this. I found one of these in my stash. And you can write on it. Remember these? Those are so cute. But anyway, I think that's the end. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.